Oh, and then down here. There we are. Come on, it's so good. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. The Goon Thingy Majiggy. That's right. We are in Jurassic World Evolution 2 for the first time since the game released, as in making a park or doing something that isn't a battle royale or a showcase of something. We are going to be making a park with the newest DLC. Lagoon, we're going to make a completely lagoon kind of park. There's of course going to be other dinosaurs in here. There's going to be mods as well. Um, so, you know, if there's something going on that you're like, that shouldn't work, it's probably because of the mod. Even though this game has got to an amazing point, I, and, you know, it's got to the point where I want to play it now, which is why we're doing this. Uh, we're going to be starting with a Lagoon Park, and, you know, we may be looking at this and going, wait, but, Beaver, th there's nothing here. It's all just empty. What's going on? We're really going to start from the very beginning? No, we're not, because there has been, thanks to the community, uh, there was something that happened in this game, a glitch, and it has just made me so happy <laughs> because it's something I've wanted to do for the longest time in this game. I mean, yes, you could go into attractions, you could go into, we'll just go into here, and you can make the log. You can now make something with no description because I've glitched my game somehow. <laughs> Some file I've installed that needs deleting. Um, you can make the Jurassic Tour, you can make Gyrosphere Tour, the Humble, an incredibly humble monorail. This thing, right here. They would fly above your parks and allow a really cool aerial view of your park. But, with a little bit of a tweaking. This, the start of something glorious. So, there is a glitch in the game where if you place a monorail next to another monorail and make one bit of track, no matter what you put underneath it, it won't move. And that's because if it did move, the monorail wouldn't work because it'd go woo and go up and down. Um, so you just slowly move the monorail station along the track and along and along and along. And before you know it, you've got this situation going on here. And not only, guys, not only do we have this. Oh, I'm so, I'm so, I can't wait, I can't wait. So you go into here and boom, you break out into the freaking Lego. I love it so much, it's so good. <laughs> There's no way to transition. There's no way to make cages or delete this bit of the lagoon. You can't do it. It's impossible. So I thought I would add the log as a way to go from the trees into this place here. I've also added, like, in case you were confused about where you were, <laughs> it's the lagoon. Um, we've also got a spider here because why not? We have a spider so skeleton. We may as well use it. Also, uh, this is Bob. Bob is just continuously working on the statue and will be there, well, in Definitely for the time being, but always say hello to Bob. Hello, Bob. How are you doing? He he's very absorbed in his work. He, he may not turn around. Maybe one of these days he will. You never know, but for now he won't. Uh, and this is going to house, um, I was thinking the Archelon. Yeah, don't look at the log from this way. Because that kind of spoils the effect. <laughs> it's just like AC units on the outside. Um, but you've also got this bit uh, of the amphitheater. Now, normally you can't do this. You can't get three uh, viewing galleries here because they have to be in a single segment. A bit like this, that's what it would look like. But luckily, oh look, there's some fishies in here. Whoa, we're in the water. Oh, I hate this camera. Yeah, there we go, I survived. We're alive. Um, yeah, normally they're, they're very sparse apart. Uh, I put some flags in here, some of the decorations, and this is the latest thing that I've just added to it. Queuing area, you come in here, maybe we could have like uh, some doors that look like it opens and closes, and this is where everybody waits. Oh, I kind of like that we can just trust people <laughs> to not do that. Can I go in here? <gasps> I can. Now, normally, I can't actually mess with this because it's got no power. I didn't realize I could do this. Now, this is going to be the moment of truth, right? I don't think this is going to work. Let's lower the stand. Is it going to lower? Um, yeah, we can't lower or raise the stand. Never mind. <laughs> it's because it has no power. It's also technically not connected to the uh, the lagoon itself. So as you can see, I don't know if these are gonna work if we if we like go down, but really the principles there, there's also some really good decorations we could do. I'm saving them uh, for the Mosasaur, these things. So what we can do is it's just a bunch of people just crowding around in there. <laughs> I think it's to do with uh, this, like the uh, T-Rex um, kingdom 
that you can have. You can get the full thing. I'm not exactly sure, too sure how. There's also this log. There's some really... I don't know if they're... They're probably mods. I'm not too sure. This game's added a bunch of stuff. Like, all of this is definitely from um, DLC. So that's really cool. As well as the big pile of you-know-what. As well as the memorial, which is really cool. Which we could put there if we wanted to. But I'm not going to. I decided to place uh, a fence with trees. Because if we go in here... You got all these different things. You got medium log. You got like log walls if you wanted. Like we could, in theory, put like a log fence there. I think this is from Planet Zoo, so you know it just keeps people away from the trees. I think that might actually be a really good thing. <laughs> just came up with this now, but it's brilliant actually. Yeah, we'll put we'll put it. Uh, I think it's. Oh god! Come on! Come on! You got this! Come on! Yeah! That'll do. Then we can do one there, and then. Have this go over a little bit more. The problem with this game at the moment is that lagoons are so basic. Like, there's not much you can do with them. This monorail has given me the inspiration to go, you know what? Hell yeah, we could do something like that. And you're adding some extra lights here for when the turtles come up. I'm thinking what we can do is a bunch of, um, like maybe one or two turtles. I don't want to go too overboard. But then, put something else in here. And there's some amazing creatures we're going to make in this park. Like, Bazillasaur. The model for that thing looks absolutely gorgeous. So, we go decorations. Yeah, sorry. The problem with this is, when I made my Biosyn Sanctuary, it, I kind of made too many decorations, and it started to crash the game. Because <laughs> I placed so many individual trees and stuff. So, that's the problem with this. I, I'm, I'm scared that I'll get to the point where, you know, menus will stop loading and I won't be able to save. And before I know it, it'll, that'll be it. That'll be the end. This is the problem. This is the reason why I haven't done a park like this in a long time. And that's because I, I get, you know, I get this way <laughs> with these sorts of things. It's like, no, but it's not straight. No, can't do it. Okay, we're back. Right. <laughs> Took a, a little bit of time, really. And still still want to move a couple of things around. Maybe make that that way, just so it's a bit symmetrical with the corner of that. That's good. But then I, I, I got to this point. I was like, oh, no, it's not. It's not even. And I was trying to get it right. and But it kept on locking to that. And before I realized, wait a minute. Why don't I just extrude the fence over there, you idiot? <laughs> you dolt. <laughs> And there you go. I mean, I'll, I'll kind of leave this for now. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that's a bit boring to watch. If I'm not going to lie. Uh, we could actually, if we wanted to, extend that a little bit that way. So you definitely, you know, it doesn't spoil the illusion if you're looking from the outside. And even... If we really wanted to, you know, go above and beyond. So now you kind of can't really see in. But if you look this way, you've got a lovely little little rose garden of lavender or something in the corners. Really makes it work. I think we need some lights or some more lights in here. Also, this may need to be moved. Now the spino is more in the middle. Beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's bloody beautiful, that is, Harry. <laughs> And then, uh, maybe we don't... Like, also, there's loads of different paths. There's, like, uh, there's wood paths and dirt paths. So people can still walk. And what I want to do in this video, or sorry, this park, is also make a petting zoo. Because now, you can have it where people or visitors aren't scared of the dinosaurs. And there's a really cool one I want to try out, too. Put the gravel in. There you go. And I wish I could paint more textures. But I think I'm locked with whatever this, um this map's going to give me. And maybe there's a mod to fix that, because I'd love to put snow in some areas or something like that, because we've done it with trees. In fact, I think Frontier made an update where, you know, trees were fixed, so they weren't locked to biomes when it comes to decorations, because we can go on trees now. And here you go. You can have, like, uh, something from the autumnal one or something from a desert pack. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is make this park, you know, usable for the time being, just so the monorail works and I can get these working. And then we can add some dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just realized it's all the way over here. <laughs> no! Stop it! Why? Why are you locking to? There we go. Okay, so that's one done. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there it goes! The ring of honor rail! Uh-oh. It's not- Oh, God. Oh, God, it's clipping through the fence. <laughs> Uh-oh! 
I'm gonna have to make that just just a just a tiny bit wider. Okay, okay. We'll be interested to see what what it looks like going back the other way. But I, I'm oh wait, hold on. Is a show stand? Oh no, it does. Oh, you legend! How does that work? You can't see anything when you're in there, though. That's so weird. But I can still see the view when I, I'm right. Is this normally how it works? I kind of want to make a resort up here. So you've got some hotels, the overlooks, the uh, turtle, uh, turtle Bay. Um, and then we've got, hold on, we've got this to make as well. So let's quickly just make this on the other side. Because I love to be symmetrical, dear. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful. Does this one still work? If I lower this stand on the other side. Come on, please work. Please work. Yeah! Sweet! Even though if we go over here... It is, uh, it's solid concrete. But I don't know if that was always the case. I don't think it was. I think when you lock this stand into the lagoon, it gets rid of whatever's there. But if you don't, it's still, like, solid concrete. So I think that's what's causing that issue. But anyway, we've got that working now. Uh, I did want to check the monorail again. Here we go. Here we go. So... Uh, monorail. Oh, this is great. Maybe we could also have this go over in, into another enclosure. That would be quite cool. And um, we can sort of have a pass bit here where people hopefully don't get run over. <laughs> right, so it needs to be wide. I thought it was quite cool the way it was, but yeah, sorry. I didn't realize it needed that much. So we need a little bit wider. Wider than the actual track of the monorail, which is fine. So we go through here, which is fine. It goes through the little tunnel, which looks great. And then this, yes. This works perfect. We've got a passing point here as well. And then it goes through. Oh, okay, well, we need it. Okay, hold on. This thing. Oh, God, no. Not that. We need to get this. And we need to open the gate. Yeah, that's so cool. I don't know if this is DLC or whatnot, but it looks awesome. Oh, this fence is wrong. Ah, because I redid it, right? So you can see this is perfect. Perfectly in the middle, right? And when it came to this, this isn't. It's, like, slightly skewed. It's this side. I don't know how I did it, but I managed to... No! Okay, hold on, guys. Let me just reload that. <laughs> oh, load, please, load. Okay, I think I, I think I saved it. Hold on, let me just catch back up, because that, that's it. That's the end of that. If I delete that monorail track, is game over. Okay, give me a second. Let me just fix all this again. All right, okay, we're back. <laughs> hold on. Let me just not delete the monorail. <laughs> it's the one that looks like a fence. There we go. Boom. Right. So now the monorail won't have a problem getting through. Now, I want to add, like, a different kind of fence here. Like, I guess a bush? Like, some sort of bush would work if we can get, like, a high one. Yeah, there you go. Just have the, <laughs> have the open. Open to the outdoors there. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, those could work. That's quite nice. So, like, when it opens up, if we just quickly grab this, open up the gate. Yes, like a Jurassic Park version. Beautiful. You sort of don't see anything because it's covered by the trees. And in fact, what I could do is add another fence around the inside so you can't really see into it. <gasps> that's perfect. Yeah, because that's what you want an enclosure to be when it's just, when it's something like this. You don't want to be able to see it until you get inside. You're like, whoa, and then you don't see anything else. And you don't really particularly want to see the fence. Now, the reason I've picked this fence in particular is because it very much reminded me of the Jurassic Park 3 fence. I think I actually might have that. Yeah, we have the Jurassic Park fence. It's at an angle. I love that. Okay, no. This, this is the closest we're going to get, so that's fine. But, yeah, I think putting some trees around the edge is probably perfect. Here we go. We are the monorail. Oh, I wish I could be down with the monorail, though. Yeah, look at this. Now, I'm wondering whether I put a higher fence because, of course, I want Spinosaur in here. And, uh, yeah, I could probably easily pick off the train. <laughs> in through the log and then out towards this. Except for, yeah, I still need to... I still need to change this fence. I thought it was perfect. Damn. We're going to have to just have the fence on the outside. Hold on, come onto the water. This is the easiest way I can see. There we go. Okay, now you're on the water. I have you now. So we want it as close as we can get. Ah! 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 <laughs> All right, come a little bit further on. Yeah, straight shot. If I just do one fence over, I'll go underwater, but it will also be too wide. So 
what you need to do now... Right, okay, so you need to go a little bit further and then just have that go straight. Because it will, yeah, it'll do this thing where it constantly wants to join. So they need to be in this race with each other. Like just a little bit more and then a little bit more. And eventually, because you see this, yeah, you can see the dip here. That's the log, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, so I, yeah, if I can get that to as close as the dip, that's good, that's good. Right, that looks about right. Yeah, yep, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Perfect. And then we can just continue this. And we, we'll definitely make a crossing or something before we enter another enclosure. I don't know if this will be... I was going to say, good God, what's happening there? <laughs> now, there it is! The perfect monorail! Woohoo! And off it goes. Now, I could have this fence go all the way across into, into this bit, but because the log's there, I had to lower the ground... Uh, in order to fit the log in. That's why you've got this weird dippy bit. It's unfortunate, because I'd love... There's probably a mod out there, and if it, if it, if there is, I'll probably, I'll install it. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is a mod that allows you to do that. You can play stuff, and then it's, uh, it's Kai's something, his toolbox. So maybe I'll actually go back into this, flatten this out, uh, so the fence can literally come from the log. Um, I just need to think more about that. But we've had enough of park building. Let's actually make some gosh darn creatures, shall we? Oh, wow. So they have details for every, even the modded creature? Oh. <laughs> Bull shark doesn't have it. But this one. Oh, it does. That's so cool. You guys, you went above and beyond for this. It's obviously so, some mod. Oh, look at that. That's the bull shark. That's so cool. Okay, well, we want Archelon. Kind of like the blank, because then it looks like a, a leatherback turtle or something. But that looks really cool. Now, you can save these. We'll have Yukon River and Rana. Uh, there probably is a way to save this. Hey, there he is, swimming. You know what I'm going to do? Because, because I busted my game up to the point, I'm just going to take a picture of, <laughs> of them. Just so I know for later. A little bit of that, maybe? Oh, she looks so cute, though. She's just all blue. Salvard and Blank Pan. Okay, so these will be the two uh, Archelons that we'll get. And now... Let's have a... Oh, God. Let's have a look at what Spinos we can get. I don't remember installing you. <laughs> oh, all the things we find out there. Phosphoracus. Where did I get all these from? Prognathodon. Damn, yeah. I can't wait to make some of these. Uh, Shunasaur. What are you? S similar succus. Oh, you're a tiny little crocodile thing. Right. What we got? Oh, green boy. Green. Double green. Oh, a green and red looks kind of cool. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, first we got to start with the base. Oh, I like that, though. Oh, that's so Jurassic Park 3 in a weird way. We did a pattern to it. Yeah, that would be it. Oh, that looks cool, though. Quillian Mountain. We can release fire airlift. Hell yeah. Right, let's plump you in there. And then let's get this other one. All right, okay. Are you going to pick him up? Ladies and gentlemen, look at them! Right, also, guys, um, I'm going to let you choose the names for these Archelons and the Spinosaur in the next video. So what I'll do is I'll work on this afterwards, once this video is over and <laughs> it's ended. Um, and then once it goes up, I'll have a look to see what you guys commented, and then we'll nickname them. Maybe some sailfish could do? There's just some little sailfish in there? I think that could be quite nice. We'll put some sailfish in. Four sounds about right. We'll, we'll get four. We don't want to overcrowd it now. I mean, if this was SeaWorld, I think this would be enough for a killer whale. <laughs> just that. Oh, sorry. No, just this little bit in here. Right, we'll release these also by airlift. Oh. 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 Hello? Game? G game? Hello? I take one of these out for now, put in the hatchery, and then just put the sailfish in. I think that might be the best bet, because I don't think we can pick up sailfish with the uh, the helicopter. I think that was the issue there. We'll give it one more shot to try and release them. But if we get another glitch, we just... <laughs> exactly. The oh, what? There you go. Sorted. I must have deleted that accidentally when I uh, deleted one of these. It must have been joined to it. I think there's, there comes a time if a lot of decorations are inside each other, and you delete one thing, it deletes all of them. If they're touching, it's it's something weird. <laughs> I need to, I need to make this transition a bit better. Maybe another log. How are you finding it? 
Okay, your area is looking good. Your open space, I think, is starting to fill up. You need a shark, which is a, it's just a lie. I don't know why you keep saying this. <laughs> you, need a, you need a shark. But look at you. Look at that with the monorail. Right above. Don't, just don't look at the fence. It's fine. Like, looking like that looks beautiful. Just don't look underneath it. <laughs> oh, they're going to see each other for the first time ever. <gasps> look. You two are afraid. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you, you did not like the look of each other. That's interesting. Some lore expanding on here. So there's so plenty of fish for them to eat, which is great. And there's a lot of space in here. I mean, I like the idea. Is that the monorail overhead? Oh, it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, and then down here. There we are. Come on, it's so good. Off it goes. Oh, man. This is it. This is what I wanted. When I wanted Jurassic World Evolution back in the day, I was thinking of something like this. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, look at you. People that just take selfies and then disappear. Weirdos! Oh, it looks so cool in here. I also added a little bit here, which is just, I don't know. There's not much you can really do when it comes to lagoons, if I'm going to be honest. So having, I just put like a little coral reef in. Be cool if you could add more decorations. Really, they should have done that. It was great to add the new the new creatures, but some extra de decorations would be fantastic. I still think, uh, without mods, I don't think you can put trees on, on these. I might be wrong, though. There might be a limitation to where you can place them. But uh, yeah, just mods just make it so much better. And with the oh, there was! <gasps> there she is! Oh, there you are too! Right next to the monorail. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, let's have a quick check to see if we can put in some of the sailfish. So they might get killed by the police. Tools. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh! Okay! Yeah! Cool! Nope, you just can't airlift them. That's the problem. But look at them! Look how cool they look! Oh, they must be ichthyosaurs. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. They've done the glitch. Modern creatures like to do this glitch. <laughs> you know what I think it is? It must be a social uh, animation. Yeah, they... Oh, he's not, they're not the only ones that have got stuck. Ah, these guys. Right. So what you're telling me is... You want one. <laughs> it must be because these guys haven't been updated. So when the actual model decides, okay, let's do a friendly social animation, it goes, and it just doesn't know what to do, and it just stalls. So we'll get another batch of ichthyosaurs there. We'll release these guys. Only four of them. They're all completely different patterns. Yeah, look at them. We got ready, bluey, gray, and greeny. Right, here we go. This is it. The last two. Yay! Six of yous. Glorious. There. Now it looks like a living place. We've got two giant archlons. We've got six ichthyosaurs. And there should be one tiny little sailfish swimming about. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's just over like, oh, God. Oh, there it is. Oh, that looks so cool. Yes. Oh, 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 there we go. They kind of got stuck and then we're like, nope, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Because we're not modded creatures. They are panicking. Again, I don't, I think they panic from the Archelon, but I've never seen the Archelon attack anything. But luckily, this place is big enough, so they shouldn't really be panicking all the time. Just whenever, I was going to say, is that Archelon steaming? Looked like it was there. And they're panicking again because it's seen the Archelon down there. I mean, I, I'm not surprised. It has no... It doesn't... It has no idea what that thing is. <gasps> Ultimasaurus Vastan... Oh, God, there's so many cool ones in here. Right, how you doing, Mr. Spino? Or Mrs. Spino? Camerfish is like, Oh, I don't like Spinosaurus. It's stupid. Right, how are you fighting? Area? Area looking good? Should be more than enough. This is a massive enclosure. I want to see it. Yeah, look at that. It, it can get through. It's, it's seen the uh, the little walkway bit. Nice. Uh, open space is fine. It needs more water. It hasn't found all the water over there, though. It wants a little bit more forest, and it wants prey. Oh, okay. Tell you what. We'll give it prey over... Over... Meow. 
There you go. There's your prey. Oh, it went through. Sweet. Knew exactly where... Oh, God. No, no. Knew exactly where it wanted to go. There you go. <laughs> it looks so cool, man. This is brilliant. This is what you need, Frontier. Just add this into the game, man. Add it so I don't have to do weird glitches. I'd love to have a, a whole park that sort of goes through all the different enclosures. Let, never mind, like, you know, cars. Friggin' monorail. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Right, you definitely need a lot more water. I see. I see you. How about that? You've got... I mean, your comfort is 100% apparently, even though you're lacking in water. And I know it's 100% because I think I've got comfort turned off. But you know what? It looks good. Yeah, you don't want to go down there. It's all just decoration. <laughs> so the spider can't actually go down there. Oh, but you can fish. Hell yeah. Oh, you're going to get the fish. Yum, 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 yum. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, one day, Spino, one day you'll be able to swim with the Archelons. And the thumbnail won't be just kind of clickbait. <laughs> but then the Spino could just go in here for a dip, have a swim around, maybe go on this. Hello, Bob! Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, let's take, a, let's take a little trip on the monorail. Ignore this, it's under construction. Ignore all of this. Not that, that's beautiful. But then here we go. Huzzah! Yes. You see any Archelons? Oh, you're going to look down. Look at that. No Archelons on the rocks. Damn. Oh. We're going to hit it. Ah. Oh, that just run over the people. <laughs> and then into the spider. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to hit the spider. Spider, run. No, please. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be a great park. I can't wait. This is going to be awesome. So if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, uh, leave any comments of suggestions of dinosaurs or, or different exhibits we could put in. And I'll be happy to try and maybe make your dreams come true. If it's even possible, I don't know. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.